everyone, welcome back to our video series, All Things Microsoft Cloud. I have my colleagues with me, Dan and Bob. My name is Achabash, and we are so excited to be here today. We will talk about all things about Teams apps. So let's get started. Yeah, so we're, as mentioned, really excited to have Bob German with us. So let's kick things off. Bob, tell us about yourself first off. Oh, great. So thanks. It's great to be here. And hi, everyone. So yeah, I've actually been working in um, developing for Microsoft collaboration tools for a long time. Um, I used to be uh, building protocol stacks for networks and then somehow got into SharePoint development, which was really exciting. I love helping people collaborate better and work better together through the things that I build. And so I was fortunate to kind of get in on the ground floor of Teams app development. Yes, this is exciting. But for the ones who maybe never worked with Microsoft Teams apps before, what is Microsoft Teams apps? Well, it's a great question because a lot of people think it's the app that you download in order to run Microsoft Teams, <laughs> right? right? But actually, Microsoft Teams is really kind of the first cloud-based collaboration tools, fully cloud-based. So all of the backend services that are part of Microsoft 365, they're all there. So you can actually add your app to that as well. So perhaps you've clicked on a document inside of a Teams chat and had Microsoft Word open up. That's a Teams app. It's, a, it's still Microsoft Word, but it's running inside of Teams. So developers have this great opportunity to add their apps to the Teams user experience as well. This is very cool. And it's nice to know that people can build custom apps uh, for Microsoft Teams to increase their collaboration uh, because Teams is a tool we use day to day these days, right, for work. Well, and there's such a huge opportunity there with the reach of Microsoft there's, Teams. There's, I think it's up to 270 million users. So it's, it's insane how many users and yeah, it can really, it can really change the, pay, the way that people work. So from a Microsoft Cloud standpoint, walk us through, if I'm a developer, what would I use from the overall Microsoft Cloud that relates to building Teams apps? Well, that's the cool thing about the architecture. Um, Teams actually, uh, you could write the apps anywhere on the internet. So a lot of people build Teams apps in uh, Microsoft Azure and host them in Microsoft Azure. A lot of people use Power Platform. And it really doesn't matter because, I mean, it's a little bit easier, I would say, that to use one of those than a completely different non-Microsoft cloud. But from a Teams perspective, your app has to be reachable on the internet and Teams is gonna cleverly stitch it into the UI regardless of where it runs. Um, another thing that's kind of interesting about Azure is that there is this thing called Azure Communication Services, which I know you both know about because I've seen you present on it. And um, what that allows you to do is actually bring Teams into your app. So it sort of flips it around so that you can make Teams calls and chats and things appear inside of your app. Or you could build an app that sort of works for some Teams users at the same time as some consumers or non-Teams users and brings them together. So it's super flexible what you can do. Wow, this is awesome. So uh, I guess you can build bots by using either Power Virtual Agents or Azure uh, bot right. service. You can also build uh, tabs by using many other uh, cloud solutions available in Microsoft Cloud. Do you have some inspiring scenarios for us uh, so that developer, developers can get to learn more about yeah. what they can do with Teams? Yeah, I think that the key is really that um, switching apps is not such a big deal for us. We're all pretty good at Alt-Tab or whatever mm -hmm. your operating system is to switch from one app to another. Um, the, the pain point, I think, is around the context. So if you're telling me about a customer and then I have to go look up the customer in some CRM system, then I'm doing extra work just to kind of connect the dots. But if we're collaborating and I can get a message that brings me right into an app, and not only am I not switching out of Teams, but I'm also not having to look up information. Mm -hmm. That really streamlines and reduces the possibility of errors in a, in a great way. There are these also things called messaging extensions where you can insert business data directly into the Teams conversation and then take action with these things called adaptive cards. So there's so many great ways to just take, Yina was talking about the systems of record and the systems of engagement with Teams apps, it's just you and you're getting your work done with your team. That's it. There's no, there doesn't have to be this distinction going back and forth. Well, and how many times, maybe it's just me folks, but how many times have you gone to another system, did whatever you needed, and then completely forgot what you were doing in the first place? <laughs> yeah, exactly right. A lot of times I'll get 
uh, distracted or I'll be going back to tell the person I did something in the in the system of record and then I see an important message from someone else and off I go right there you so go yep. it, it really can streamline the way that people work every day well this is great info where as a developer uh, what are some resources locations what would you recommend when it comes to learning more about building uh, teams yeah, apps. there's really a few different tracks. I think if you're starting from scratch, you probably want to start, and we'll put some links on the screen. Um, you will probably want to start with Power Platform um, or with the Teams Toolkit. So for pro devs, Teams Toolkit will pull everything together and get you started quickly. Um, for Power App, Power Platform devs, of course, there's a ton of solutions there. Um, and then uh, if you're interested in kind of extending an app or that's already there, maybe using whatever tool set, um, or maybe you just really want to learn how it all works under the covers. Um, we're actually introducing something called App Camp, which is a hands-on experience where you are given a, a simple application and then over the course of some labs, hands-on, you port it and make it into a full-featured Teams app. So I'm really excited about that. I've been working on that with my team uh, and particularly with Rabia Williams, uh, who is unfortunately not on the set today, but um, Anyway, uh, I would encourage people to check that out. Excellent, excellent. Well, thanks for joining us. Aicha, thanks for being here again for this video series. And we'd encourage you to check out the other videos that we have in this All Things Microsoft Cloud series. Thanks a lot.